Today, I want to talk about an anime that I think is criminally underrated, Hulk. It's an anime not talked about enough that you might have missed with all the new releases this year. God damn, this year has a lot. I've watched a huge amount of anime and when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Summer 2023 bought a flood of anime releases like Jutsu Kaisen Season 2 and Bleach Thousand Year Blood Wars Second Season, so it's no wonder Hulk slept under the radar for some folks. Hulk is an anime adaptation of the manga series bearing the same name. Don't get hoodwinked by its quirkiness, the series has an appealing complexity and it's not just another run of the mill series. Our MC Hulk has insane physical abilities, a bit like Marshall and his incredible feats are the source of some hilarious gags, so what sets Hulk apart from the multitude of anime out there and why did I enjoy it so much? It's not the storyline or the art style, both of which are relatively conventional. The cast is fairly straightforward, featuring the classic divide between good guys and bad guys, nothing fancy. It doesn't innovate or revolutionize anything, unlike more complex series like Attack on Titan. It doesn't rely on intricate plot twists or flashy visuals to keep your attention. Instead, the excels in the art of storytelling, you could consider it the MacGyver of anime, making the most of what it has in its arsenal. The show combines comedy and mystery in a fantastic world with diverse characters. If you are planning to delve into Hulk, I'd recommend watching it with as few spoilers as possible. While the story may seem ordinary at the beginning, it has a darker and more profound meaning as it progresses. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> the setup is so fascinating that you might even regret not discovering the anime sooner. The focus of Hulk's storyline is whether a human who despises humans can become a demon king, yet as the narrative unfolds, it takes a darker turn. While the series maintains its slapstick comedy throughout, it gradually morphs into a rather somber drama. Just before the story kicks off, a hero successfully vanquishes a demon king and humanity celebrates this monumental feat. Three months later, our titular character Hulk enters a tournament held by the residents of the demon world to determine the next demon king. Yes, Hulk is a human competing in a tournament designed for demons. This premise alone sets the stage for an intriguing plot as they pit Hulk against various competitors, each with their own motives and allegiances. With a smile and a wave, he easily bests his competition, all the while blaring his hatred for humans. Though he calls for humanity's distraction, the truth behind his cherry facade remains a mystery. Hulk becomes the top contender and effortlessly overcomes the challenges thrown his way. Naturally, Vermilion, one of the four heavenly kings, becomes suspicious of Hulk's true intentions when she gets wind of his participation. She is responsible for overseeing the realm of the demons and is higher in the demon hierarchy than a demon king, she's not too thrilled about the human potentially taking that title to say the least. Vermilio is determined to prevent her people from falling under the sway of a human and uncover what lies behind the seemingly cheerful facade. Vermilio initially attempts to sabotage Hulk's chances, leading to humorous chaos ensuing. Despite her efforts, Hulk is ridiculously powerful and he's pretty much a maxed out RPG character at level 99, leading to all her plans failing. The cast consisting of Hulk, Vermilio and other characters may initially appear stereotypical with characteristics that fully common character tropes. Nonetheless, as the narrative deepens, their interactions animate these characters, transcending their initial archetypes. Hulk initially portrayed as the typical hero with a pure heart, experiences significant personal growth through his interactions with others. Hulk's personality shines through his cheerful demeanor and actions. He may have the brawn, but deep down, he's a tender-hearted soul. He's quick to place his trust in others and strives to maintain a sunny outlook no matter what life throws at him. But don't let that fool you, because when it comes to safeguarding the people he holds dear, Hulk becomes an unwavering force. He harbors an unshakable determination to never let harm befall his cherished friends, and those who cross that line will find no forgiveness in his unwavering resolve. Hulk has a diverse cast of characters and their interactions create a harmonious ensemble. The dynamic between Hulk and Vermilion is a highlight as their contrasting personalities harmonize in captivating ways. In contrast, Vermilion is a fiery and sharp-witted demon, usually with a scowl on her face. Her quick temper often leads her to brandish the stupid label, not only on others but herself as well. Despite these fiery traits, she cares deeply for the safety and welfare of the Demon Kingdom citizens, making it challenging for her to trust newcomers. The well-crafted side characters amplify this intricacy, enriching the overall character roster. In the grand scheme of things, Hulk deserves far more recognition and attention than it currently receives. It skillfully blends its fun, comedic elements with a significant dose of reality and a touch of seriousness, resulting in an anime that leaves you curious and eager to delve deeper into its intricacies. In fact, after a few episodes, you will likely find yourself wanting to explore the manga counterparts. 
Hulk explicitly plays on the classic theme of humans versus demons, but it hints that the depth that unfolds the more you watch. At first glance, it may seem silly and goofy, and to some extent, it is. From the outset, there's a sense that there's more to this story than meets the eye, creating a sense of intrigue and anticipation. It's as though the series has a core of playfulness and silliness, but it harbors a monstrous undercurrent that it's on the verge of unveiling. I never expected it. This duality keeps you engaged and invested in the narrative, ensuring you'll be along for the ride, no matter where it takes you. I highly recommend giving Hulk a chance. The first episode is a great introduction, but if you like action, keep watching until episode 4 for a more serious tone. Really, nigga? Hulk is an anime that strikes an outstanding balance between fun, silliness, and a captivating storyline. It's just enjoyable. Hulk is an anime that really deserves your attention. It begins with a simple idea and develops into a charming story that is both intricate and well executed. The show has a special talent for mixing touching moments with energetic fun, which I enjoy in anime. It was perfect. Everything down to the last minute details. I could go on and on about the various plot twists and character developments that Hulk has to offer, but I am mindful of potential spoilers. Hulk promises to take you on a wild ride filled with surprises and it's an experience that you won't want to miss. What more can I say? Hulk is not just an enjoyable watch, it's a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. It's Hulk. <laughs> That's a wrap for this video guys, this has been Captain Awesome. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you never miss any future videos. And if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to share it with your friends, even your grandma, who knows. Lastly, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section, what do you think about the Hulk anime? Is it good, underrated and all that other stuff? Also, let me know some other anime you think is underrated. Thank you for joining me in today's video, until next time, stay awesome.